Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Select Baseball three box Ren Division Break number seven. Big thanks all of these folks for getting into the action. There are the divisions right there. Um, all cards ship, a lot of great stuff in here. Two autographs, two memorabilia cards per box on average, a lot of fun parallels, a lot of uh, big baseball names to chase, especially as we're getting closer and closer to opening day. Four and a two, six times for names and divisions. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six, we got Nick down to Guy. Four and a two, six times for the divisions. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Four and a two, six. There's six right there. AL East down to the NL East. The next break is already loaded up in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. That's our last uh, three boxes from that case that we popped open. I don't think we have any more select after that. All right, Nick. AL East, NL Central. Walter, NL West, AL West. Jared, AL Central. And Guy, NL East. Sort by column B right there by division. All right. I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back. No deals were done on the divisions. There they are. Three box. Ran why, did, why did the number disappear? This is break seven. Come on. Google Sheets. There we go. This is break number seven. Break number eight are the final three boxes of that select baseball case. All right, good luck. Still pretty early in, in spring training, ladies and gentlemen. But already there's a big, I don't know how this happened, but already big injury news. Royce Lewis, former number one overall pick, tore his ACL. I don't know how that happened, but he tore his ACL. He's out for MLB Network is reporting. Out for uh, nine to 12 months, basically a year, I would imagine. Which is crazy. I feel like... I feel like he has so much talent. The ceiling is so high for that guy, but unfortunately, the injuries have kind of gotten to him. This is a this is a big setback. I think last year there was no development because there's such a shortened season. I don't think he was on the main squad. He might have been able to if there was a full season. So some frustrating setbacks for him. I know. Back when his stuff was first Bowman draft stuff and Bowman stuff and Bowman's best stuff was all out. A lot of people chasing the twins. A lot of people were hoping for him. So hopefully he comes back stronger than ever, but we'll have to just wait for that, unfortunately. There's Kyle Lewis for the NL West. That'll be for Walter. Hopefully Kyle Lewis keeps things going. There's Danny Mendick. Five out of 20. Tie-dye. Sorry, just dropped that card there, but got a pretty good padding right here to see. These, these cards are all over the place. Jared with the AL Central. He's supposed to be pretty good too. I love the tie-dye parallels. It's gonna be fun. Like AJ Puck, he's gonna how's he gonna emerge? Trent Grisham, Bobby Bradley. We got more AL West. We got Justin Dunn, Mariners. That'll be for the AL West Walter. Well, Justin Dunn, there's Eloy Jimenez Blue to 149. We got Marcus Simeon, still A's edition. There's Dallas Keuchel, 
Cody Bellinger coming off a right shoulder in uh, surgery. There's Mike Moustakis to 35. I don't think the surgery, I mean, any surgery is kind of serious, but I think they were just kind of dislocates that shoulder a lot. I think they were trying to get that sort of tightened up a little bit there to avoid that from happening. He might be might be a little a little setback. I don't think it's going to be hopefully it won't be anything major as the season goes along. There's Jordan Alvarez, AL West. Walter. Thankfully with the depth that the Dodgers have, I don't think they they're going to rush him back anytime soon. There's Max Fried for the NL East guy with that one. It's already some bend on these cards. There's Fernando Tatis Jr. Relic for the NL West, Walter. Padres, of course. Would you say the Padres won the offseason? I would think so, right? Maybe the Mets close behind? Did Mets, Mets win? No, I think the Padres won the offseason. With all the big additions they made and then locking up Tatis Jr. for so long. There's jersey and autograph, Bobby Bradley. Cleveland, this is for you. AL Central, Jared. Thirty-seven out of ninety-nine. This is Victor Robles. And we've got artistic impressions, Alex Bregman. I think these are pretty short printed. That goes to the NL uh, or AL West. All right, so that was box one. Here's box two. There you go. I like that, Charles. Charles trying to wheel and deal a little bit. He's like, hey, I'll help with fla which flawless, football or uh, baseball? He said, I'll help with flawless if someone wants to help with playbook. Yeah, I think that's, that's, a, that's a good way to negotiate. I think too often some people are just like, hey, fill, fill, fill playbook. That doesn't work. Six, seven years of my seven years of doing this, rarely has someone been like, okay, you know, person I don't know on the internet. No, a lot of time, but what, what is a little more effective is, is a, hey, you help with this, I'll help with that. I feel like that's a little more engaging. It's a good deal. Any uh, fantasy baseball players out there? I think people are starting to set up for. Starting to, I'm starting to think more about fantasy baseball now. This this past week, kind of getting into into a little more research, slowly but surely. Second box. Boba Shetrug, I hope he has a good second year. There's DJ LeMayhew. That'll be good for the hobby. AL East, Nick Stover. Let's see if we can find like a silver version of that. There's Yusai Kikuchi. And we've got a gold, five out of 10, Giancarlo Stanton. For the Yankees, AL East, Nick Stover. Yankees, as always, going to be a scary team this year if they remain healthy. We've got the Big Hurt, Frank Thomas, jersey and autograph. Trust me, she'll like it too. That's Jared with the AL Central White Sox and Last Spot Mojo. 38 out of 75. 
Last spot mojo, 60% of the time. Hits 100% of the time. There's Jake Odorizzi for the Twins. Another one for the AL Central out of 199. There's Aaron Judge, Ken Giles, and Brewstar Greaterall. Dodgers edition. Jersey and autograph. Maybe I'd like to see him emerge. Just break out a little bit more this season. 002 out of 209. See if he can, can he can throw a pretty great fastball. Gets a little secondary pitches going. Gets a little more strikeouts. NL West, Walter. Bruce Argredo could be future closer for the Dodgers. There's Phenoms, Luis Robert. He's pretty good. Let's see if we can find one of his rookie cards, too, for Jared in the AL Central. Howie Kendrick, Silver. Pete Alonzo, Yachty, back with the Cardinals to 199. NL Central, Nick Stover, as if there was any doubt. Tatis Jr. Jose Altuve. And we've got the Wizard. Ozzy Smith, piece of his jersey. That'll be for the NL Central, Nick Stover. You're a wizard, Ozzy. All right, Charles said, all right, all right. I, I grabbed a spot in Flawless. Which Flawless, Charles? Who's going who's gonna to help him with playbook football? There's Anthony Rendon to 99. AL West, Walter. And we got Jake Fraley, another one for the AL West. Big jersey for him. And Flawless Baseball. So Charles got a spot in Flawless Baseball. And he's hoping that'll generate some assistance with Playbook Football on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. If you're watching live, help out Charles and let him know that you helped him out. Help each other out. All right, final box coming up. And the final three boxes of select baseball divisions is also in the store right now if you're watching live, jazbeescasebreaks.com. We can polish off another one of these. And I don't think anything else is sold out at the moment. Although, no, I see seven orders. So if you're watching live, not sure if anything is sold out at the moment, but we'll go through some more orders after this and we'll, we'll see what we can do. That Panini Eminence basketball is close. We just have to do one filler. The last filler has only eight spots. Scared money don't make money. Give it a shot. You might stumble into a $3,700 spot. We've done 17 or 16 of these Eminence cases and of the you know dozen or so fillers that we've done, there's been a decent amount of fillers that have been won by someone who has just purchased a single spot. The one spot snipe of a $3,700 spot. It's possible. But the only way you can make that possible is if you get at least a spot. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So venture. Okay, Brand, Brand is talking five left in NT Baseball. NT Baseball, the Yankees just got picked up. That was a pretty huge team. A couple other we, a couple other uh, mid-range teams, one lower end team, and a couple higher end teams. If if all the high rollers get together with the medium rollers, get together with the low rollers, if all the rollers get together, we can roll on that Panini NT. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. All right, the final box. Good luck, Justin Dunn, rookie silver. We got Bo Bichette, autograph, jersey and auto for the AL East, Nick Stober. Rookie, jersey, and autograph. And if he has a big breakout season, and if all that young talent on Toronto breaks out. It could be, they could be a threat. There's Justin Dunn. For the AL West, Walter, there's Dylan Cease for Jared and the AL Central to 199. 
is Bouchette's teammate, Vlad Guerrero Jr., all cards ship. Behind Manny Machado is Jalen Davis, 89 out of 199. Autograph for the San Francisco Baseball Giants. And L. West, Walter. There's Adrian Morahone, so 250. For the NL West, Walter. Two thirty eight out of two fifty. We got a green Francisco Lindor, still AL Central on this one, sixty seven out of ninety nine. Dustin May, piece of his jersey. Let's see, maybe he for, maybe he forces his way into the rotation with a good spring performance. NL West, Walter, could be a bullpen threat. Keeping loose in the minors, that could work too. There's Tim Anderson. And the last little stack here, good luck. You Darvish. We got a blue Nelson Cruz to 149 for Minnesota. AL Central, Jared. Bruce Star Greater All, rookie silver. For the NL West, Gary Sanchez, Glaber Day. And we've got, looks like a cool die cut here. Zach Collins, rookie, silver, die cut, Jared with the AL Central. Nice break for the AL Central. There's the die cut right here, not numbered. But it's uh, diamond level, which I think is the shortest of prints. And there's Lance Lynn, and there you have it. A nice three-box random division break, number seven of 2020, Panini Select Baseball. Get it going. We've got the last three boxes in the store right now. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll break that with you next time. Bye-bye.